Today's video is going to be another waist training video, but it's going to be more about nutrition. I posted this video right over here on my TikTok, and it's basically like a transformation, one month transformation of my waist training journey. And I'm wearing the same outfit, and you can see that there's a clear difference. And I received a lot of positive feedback from it, but one of the comments made me laugh, and it basically was asking if I'm eating, and it, it made me laugh because like of course I'm eating. Um, I actually eat five times a day and uh, it made me think maybe I should share my go-to recipes for my meals lately for like breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. If anyone out there is looking for some healthy recipes to try out, these are my go-to and the ones I've been eating that have helped me along with waist training to accelerate my weight loss. Having the proper nutrition that aligns with your goals is definitely something so important and something that Lux Curves is transparent about when they do talk about um, weight loss with their waist trainers. I love and admire them so much because they are transparent about that. They're not just out there advertising. Waist training alone will help you lose weight because that's just not true. And I think a lot of other companies tend to do false advertising like that. So I really love and admire and wanted to share that with you guys because if you are interested in waist training, I definitely highly recommend them. And yes, waist training can help to slim down your waist as far as inches but you won't see movement on the scale that much so if your goal is to just um, add more curves to your body without losing weight then waist training can definitely do that for you but if you're like me and want to lose weight while still maintaining curves then i highly suggest waist training while you're eating healthy and being more active in your day-to-day -day life so if you just want some more inspiration or ideas on eating healthy then these are my go-to breakfast lunch dinner and snack so my go-to for breakfast is usually a protein shake. There's so many different benefits to drinking your breakfast, but also it's something that has helped me to stay on track, especially when I don't have time to cook something in the morning before I go to work. The mix I use is actually formulated to be a meal replacement, so it definitely does help me feel super satisfied and full until my next meal or snack. Also a little hack that I like to do is add a little bit of almond extract to my vanilla protein shakes because it makes the flavor taste like a sugar cookie which just makes it more enjoyable for me and ultimately I've learned that your nutrition should be something that you enjoy to create more of a sustainable lifestyle change especially if you are in the transition period of building better habits. For my first snack I usually have it two or three hours after my shake and I've been really loving carrot sticks dipped in guac. On the screen is what you'll need to make this guac recipe and I love this one because it's so similar to Chipotle's guac recipe which I absolutely love and it's super easy and this is just a really great option to have like a healthy fat as well as incorporate more vegetables into your diet. So for lunch, I usually have a salad or a protein greens bowl, but for lunch today, I made a salad because it's just so easy to prep for a work day. And also when I cook, I always opt for olive oil. And before putting the chicken on the stove, I always make sure that the pan is sizzling hot like this. After you cook the chicken on both sides, add some fresh garlic or minced garlic that's already chopped up for you. And then I add a little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper and then a little bit of honey and a little bit goes a long way just to make sure you keep the sugar content down. And it's super easy and super not bland at all. I know a lot of people associate chicken to dieting as being bland and this is not the case at all for this recipe. And then for my salad base, I really love to use romaine lettuce and then also mix that in with some spring mix greens. Also side note, no one in my family eats it from these two lettuce bins so that's why I just use my wash hands. And depending on what I have in the house, I like to add some tomatoes, onions, and add some pumpkin flax or sunflower seeds. I usually get unsalted seeds to lower my sodium intake, but accidentally bought the salted one, so I just sprinkled a little bit this time. And honestly, I'm not a huge fan of regular dressing for my salads, so I only use homemade cilantro dressing, apple cider vinegar, or lemon juice. So about three hours after my lunch, for my second snack of the day, I usually like to go for one of these Greek yogurts. I personally really love yogurt, so this is one of the best options for me right now because staying in a calorie deficit has really, really worked well for me and has been super easy for me to maintain and stay on track while keeping in mind portion control, which is something that I really struggled with. And these ones are one of the lowest in calories and sugars compared to other Greek yogurt brands. 
Yogurt is also a great option when you're just needing something quick on the go. And lastly for dinner, I took some of the chicken that I cooked earlier from my lunch and I made sure that I didn't put honey on all of them just so I could have something different for dinner time, but still be time efficient by pre-cooking my dinner with my lunch. So for dinner, I like to have a grilled chicken parm and this is super easy. Just take that cooked chicken and I add a half a serving of tomato sauce and a serving of some low-fat mozzarella cheese and broil it in the oven. Usually I like to have a salad on the side or even zucchini noodles or even whole wheat pasta. Since I do have an endomorphic body type, I try my best to avoid more of the high processed uh, white starch cheese. Uh, avoiding those things have really helped to increase my energy and it aligns with my health and weight loss goals. Thank you so much for staying till the very end. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you want to see more recipe videos. If you guys want to try Lux Curves Waist Trainers, I have a coupon code down below for you guys. And I'm so excited because I am on the last row and about to size down to another waist trainer size. They have so many different prints and colors and I'm not sure which one I'm going to get, but I have the hot pink one. I love the galaxy one, but I think I might get the mermaid one because it's so pretty. But yeah, uh, check out their website to see all the variations of patterns and colors that they have. 